here to do a pick a card reading, guys. Today we're asking the question, what are they hiding? Ooh. What are they hiding? We will do an extended read on this. We will take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask what has been left unsaid, and we will also ask what's next. So keep in mind, this is a general reading, may not resonate with everyone. Should it resonate with you, please like, share, subscribe to the channel and leave your comments. Give me that thumbs up. Please, y'all, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, yeah, because we need to grow this channel. And for some reason, I've been shadow banned. I'm sure a lot of people have reported me when I block them or get smart with them because they got smart with me or whatever the case may be. But I definitely, definitely need you all's help. So please, 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 please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up because YouTube be dripping, dripping. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. If it doesn't fit, let it fly. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Take the bits and pieces that resonate with you. Leave everything else on the dance floor and moonwalk your job ass on away from it. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can find that information linked down below. If you like to get... A life coaching session with me because I am a certified professional life coach, meaning I went to school to study the art of life coaching. You can find all of that information down below. If you're interested in about 80% of the decks that I use on this channel, you can find them linked down below, plus a lot of other stuff that's a lot of my favorite stuff. Um, in a list titled, these are a few of my favorite things. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, to my wellness, to whatever, you can find Amazon wishlist, cash pay, GoFundMe, all of that stuff linked down below as well. Whew. So we have three choices before us today. Choice number one is going to be the moon card. These are 3D cards too, so... Choice number one is going to be the moon card. Choice number two is going to be the star card. And choice number three is going to be the hermit. So we have the moon, the star, and the hermit. On the count of three, we're going to take our deep breath. One, two, three. Pick your card. Is it going to be the moon card? Is it going to be the star card? Or is it going to be the hermit card? Hope you chose, because we gotta go. All right. So, universe, we are going to begin with the moon card. And tell us what their person is hiding, universe. Could be good, could be bad. Both of those are relative. We just want to know because we know your shit. It's a brave heart tribe universe. You guys, please like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment. Tell me your favorite color. Tell me a place that you want to travel to. Need to grow this channel and I need you all's help to do so. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. What is this person hiding, universe? People who chose moon card, what is their person hiding? Please be as clear as possible, universe. What is this person hiding? Well, they're definitely hiding something. We got the high priestess. The high priestess. What is this person hiding, universe? People who chose the moon card, what is this person hiding? Ten of Wands. I already feel like this extended is going to be a whirlwind. And y'all know I hate baiting people, but I already feel like this is going to be some bullshit. What are they hiding? Universe, what are they hiding? Yep, you see the mask on the table. We have the King of Wands. What is this person hiding, universe? We have the full card. We have the emperor. What is this person hiding, universe? What are they hiding? What is this person hiding? 
besides the obvious. What is this person hiding in reverse? Ooh, yep. Besides the obvious, we have the seven of coins with the dude cheating in the game. What is this person hiding, universe? Let me shift this over so you can see all these cards. What is this person hiding? We have, oh, Lord, ten of swords. What is this person hiding? Ace of Wands. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Coins. This person is hiding who they truly are and what's really going on with them. This person may appear, this person looks up to a lot of people in their lives and they are very envious of people and what they have in regards to their status and their class. This person they're hiding, they're hiding quite a bit about themselves. They're hiding various layers about who they are. This person is wearing a mask and pretending to be very much in control of their life, very much in control of their finances, very much in control of their demeanor, their emotions, um, their destiny, quite honestly. And they're not. This person could have some type of gambling problem or some type of addiction here that they're trying to end and they are in too deep. This person may have taken a risk, um, been very naive um, with like gambling or something where they lost a lot of money from taking um, a very stupid, foolish, naive risk um, where they bet it all on something, where they strategize to get ahead they bet it all to become a true emperor and it didn't work out for them. So this person could have lost a lot of money in the stock market. Um, again, gambling, something like that. And this person um, struggles to keep a job. Should, like this person feels like they are worth more than they, not more than they truly are. They feel like they're worth more. They don't feel average and they don't want like an average life. They don't want to be a mediocre person in life, but they don't want to take the journey to actually put in the work to developing and unfolding and making mistakes and learning from those mistakes and all those different things. And so this person um, flashes a lot. This person fronts a lot. This person might take you out to expensive dinners and shit and then just disappears because that person didn't have that money to begin with. This person is in debt. This person is in debt. One way or another, this person is in debt. And it doesn't have to just be financially. This person is in debt with pretending to be something that they're not, holding a position in life that they're not. And that could be energetically. I feel like it's more so financially, but this person is in debt. They're deep in debt. This person is a basket case. This person is um, just not truthful to who and what they truly are. This person is always like they scheme. So if this person has borrowed money from you or needed money from you or needed assistance or something like that, and you were there for them, this person, like this is somebody who always has an idea, who always is ready to invest in something and just appears to be like a developer of sorts or that go-to person or, you know, a connoisseur of sorts. This person strategizes, gets their plan together, go, they're really like a con man or con woman. They go in, they get everybody to believe in them, to buy in. They take this leap of faith that's very foolish hoping to become um, an emperor, hoping to like win big off of it. And, but they're cheating the universe. They're cheating the universe and it doesn't, it never works out for them. And they've done this over and over and over again. And this person finds himself in a lot of debt. They just keep, they're stuck in the cycle, you know, but because they're cheating the universe, because they're not, they're receiving what they're given, which is a falsehood, which is fake, you know, temporary energy. They're, they're receiving back from the universe exactly what they're getting. So this person is in debt. This person is in debt. This person, um, again, doesn't want to hold down a job, wants to be an emperor without taking the journey. 
of the emperor. They want the end result. That's it. That's it. Period. And they are obsessed with becoming the emperor. So it's kind of like by any means necessary. So if this person is bankrupt or in debt or and you helping them, they'll bankrupt you too. This person is in debt. So, so we will take a deeper dive into the overview. We will ask what has been left unsaid or what's hidden and what they need to say. And we will also ask what's next. So if you would like to join me in the extended, the link for that is down below. Please go down to the comments and leave a comment. You can tell me your favorite color. You can tell me a place you've always wanted to travel. Either of those I'm very interested in. I just need to get um, a lot more activity on my pages so that we can grow because I take breaks. YouTube hates me. Plus, I believe I'm shadow banned because people hate me. So please show me some love. I need a little bit of love. You want to follow me on TikTok? The name is Mystic Butterfly, the Red Pill Pusher. You can also follow me on Facebook. I have a group called The Braveheart Experience. And on Instagram, it's the Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. If you don't want to follow me anywhere because you know my crazy zany ass is lost too, y'all know you don't have to. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. All right, universe, we're moving. Move, move. What is this person hiding? People who chose a star card, universe. What is this person hiding? Please be as clear as possible with the messages. What is this person hiding? People who chose a star card, universe. What is this person hiding? Whoa. Okay. We'll take both. King of Pentacles. And what's this one? Oh, six of cups. Okay. King of Pentacles, six of cups. What is this person hiding, universe? I might want to give a trigger warning with this one. Let me see what the rest of the cards are, but kind of feeling. Kind of feeling. Yep. Sun card. Oh, okay. No, maybe not. Full card. That's funny. In read number one, the full card was in the same spot. What's this person hiding, universe? What's this person hiding? What is this person hiding? Ooh, death card. Transformation. Transformation of this connection. Uh, five of pentacles. Seven of Wands. Whoa. These, I'm, when I tell you these cards are flying out. And Knight of Swords. Bottom of the deck. Devil card. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Burp, burp, burp. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Okay. Now, um, this has to do with the third party situation that there's some unfinished business. When your person got with you, met you, something, some kind of way, there was somebody else in the picture that there was unfinished business with. And your person was extremely smitten with you, smitten by you, like really loves being around you, feels like they have so much in common with you. But there was something very secretive about you all's connection and probably still is. And um, because your person was shifty and, and shifting in a very just below board, like your person just was not moving with integrity. Your person was really overzealous. It's kind of like your person, I don't think your person wanted their cake and they wanted to eat it too. I think your person was just like overwhelmed by the connection that they had with you i don't feel like you all's connection was something that they were looking for at the time i feel like it was just something that happened and it was kept in the dark um i don't feel like for some of you all it could be 
But for the most part, for the majority of you guys, I don't feel like this other person is a secret. I feel like you know that. And I feel like that's coming to the light some kind of way. And it's caused a lot of confusion and a lot of chaos for this particular connection. And especially for your person, because your person knows that they have to they have to make a choice. They have to make a decision, so to speak, in regards to themselves. Like this person may not have been unfinished business. It might not have been like a true connection. I mean, for some of you all, it could have been like a spouse or something like that. But for the most part, I feel like, I don't know. I just feel like your person was smitten. And I feel like the other person knows about you some kind of way, now at least. So what they're hiding is the fact that that other person isn't gone all the way or wasn't gone all the way, you know? Whether it was a person that was there at the jump or a person that was brought into it, there's another person there. And that's what they're hiding, some kind of way, the fact that it's not over. And so if you're wondering why things never really came out into the light, maybe that why you didn't meet their family or you weren't invited places or you guys weren't going out a lot or they weren't posting you up or something like that, it was because... This person has unfinished business with someone else. I don't feel like it's a full on connection, but I do feel that they are still entertaining this person and still around this person in some kind of way because they're keeping the two of you all separated. And I feel as though for some of you guys, you all could have moved on and away from this person and was like, you ain't gotta make no choice. I'll make it for you. Cause obviously if you have to choose, go with them right um and your person has not been right since and what they're hiding is they feel like they've made the wrong choice and they feel like they've headed in the wrong direction and i feel as though your person was hiding the fact that initially when you all met they didn't want to be monogamous. They didn't want a commitment. They wanted to kind of do what they wanted to do. And which is why I don't think they really expected that moment of impact with you. Um, but now your person is feeling like they are receiving um, some karmic debt. Like they're not being supported by the universe because of because you, you're, I don't feel like you're in this picture some kind of way because you're not there because they didn't bring you into the light because they didn't go in your direction because they didn't choose you. So to speak, your person feels like the world is against them and nothing is going right for them. Um, and they're angry about that. They could be angry at you for not giving them more time or, walking away in a very twisted demented way but your person has very low self-esteem too and there's something about you that just makes your person feel bigger better yeah and you initially when you met your person i feel like they weren't honest with you about the expectations what they really wanted because i i feel as though you thought the way that they were so enamored by you and the way that they were so focused on you and kind of initially how it just seemed like, you know, they were smitten. Um, I feel like you thought that this could go further. And when it didn't and you dipped and chose yourself, um, I feel like you were just taken aback. Like it really blew your mind and hurt probably. And so your person is very distraught coming into a lot of awarenesses because you can see in this fool card, this particular fool card is just like, what, what have I done? Look at them. What have I done? Oh, mercy me. And I feel like they are in the process of transforming now. And just a lot of things are being brought into their awareness that they were trying to have their cake and eat it too, that they are insecure and have low self-confidence, that they're obsessed with 
um, kind of the victim mentality, but also with making the wrong decision with what they've done. It's kind of it's like your person is having a wake up call, so to speak. And that's what they're hiding is that they're more affected by this than you know, more affected by the fact that they made a wrong decision than you know. We'll get there in the end. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they tried to talk themselves out of being with you. Like there was too, there were too many differences between the two of you. Way too many differences. But with you, I don't feel that they've ever told you, and we already extended. I don't feel that they've ever told you that with you, they felt like the the impossible is possible. But they also feel like their head is in the cloud. And like, again, the universe is against them and won't allow them to shift and is grounding them. So they feel like they made the wrong choice. So we're going to take a deeper dive into this reading in the extended. We'll ask what has been left unsaid or what do they want to say, however it comes out. And we'll also ask what's next. So if you'd like to join me in the extended, the link is in the description box below. Please, guys, drop down into the comments, leave a comment. You can tell me a place you've always wanted to visit. You can also tell me your favorite color. Trying to get some traction on these readings again so we can grow the channel again. Um, and if you want to follow me on TikTok, Mystic Butterfly and also the Red Pill Pusher. On Facebook, I have a group called the Braveheart Experience. And on Instagram, I am the Red Pill Pusher with two H's in the push. If you don't want to follow me nowhere because you know my crazy ass is lost too, I promise to God. You ain't got them. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon. All right. All right. All right. You sound like I'm from Minnesota. A boo. Okay. Um. <laughs> people who chose reading number three, the hermit. The hermit. What is their person hiding, universe? People who chose reading number three, what is their person hiding? People who chose reading number three, what is their person hiding, universe? Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Well, let's start off with a bang, shall we? Power with the power couple. Oh, Lord, they thinking about something. Some opportunity from the past. King of Swords looking at the power couple. Oh, Prince of Arrows. What are they hiding, universe? People who chose the Hermit card. What is the person hiding? Wisdom. What is the person hiding? Princess of Pentacles or Princess of Coins in this deck. Judgment card. Woo, Temptation in Reverse. <laughs> Imbalance. Oh, Lord. Bottom of the deck, we have the Princess of Staves. What is your person hiding? Give me one second here. Mm. So, this is quite confusing because I see two different couples. This is a couple up here and this is a couple up here. And... <clears throat> Okay, so your person is hiding the fact that they are in a state of deep contemplation. And um, I 
this might be a little bit of a trigger warning for you. Your person doesn't know what they want. That's what they're hiding. They don't know what they want. Um, I really feel as though your person is stuck between somebody from the past that they feel like they have, um, they could have a lot of opportunity with. They could build um, an empire with. They they feel like there's somebody from the past who's a force to be reckoned with that they think about quite a bit, but there's no emotion there, which is how you were able to get into this. Because there's no emotion there, but there is, it makes sense. This is a power couple, so it makes sense for them to be together, right? It, it would be logical. It's their parents are for it it's like everybody supports this because it makes sense because to the outside world these these two together are forced to be reckoned with right they're a movement by themselves but they are forced when they're together so it's like together they could build something very great but your person and and your person thinks about this a lot because that's what what's expected of them but your person um your person is intrigued by you. And I feel as though your person is in and out of your life and can't make up their mind as to what they want because it's they are breaking free of generational paradigms. And I feel as though you were temptation for your person and that has grown and your person your person wants to be more balanced and they see that balance with you and the moment you walk away your person runs after you but your person is hiding the fact that they are going to go with this other person They are either gonna choose this other person or they have never let go of this. This other person is who they who they would spend their life with. Trigger warning. Because this couple that your person is thinking about and looking at is this couple. And this is you and your person. Your person, as soon as you walk away, judgment card, your person comes back. And they, they, you know, they feel like that's what should happen. And they feel like you're getting wiser about this. Like you may have put up with this in the beginning, but now you're like creating boundaries and standing up for yourself. And your person is like watching you. They're watching you. They don't never want you to be with nobody else. And it's like the moment you get to start moving on, the moment you get happy, the moment, you know, they think that, you're leaving them behind. They come back around and they tempt you only to leave you again and to do it all over again. There's no staying power in your person. That's what they're hiding. And so it's only temporary because your person feels outwardly more in, more balanced with this other person that they don't love. This could be like an arranged marriage or something too. Because your person absolutely is not in love with this person. Your person just feels like it makes sense. Mm -hmm. And they, they just, they know that it's time for you to move, but they don't want to let you go. That's what they're hiding. They don't want to let you go, but they know they can't give you what they, what you want. Mm hmm so we're going to do an extended read on this. We'll take a deeper dive into the overview. We're going to ask what has been left unsaid or what has not been said. And we're also going to ask what's next for this, which is, this is going to be interesting. I didn't see this happening either. So if you'd like to join me in the extended, the link is down below. Guys, please leave a comment. Let me know your favorite color or where you want to travel to, a city you've never been before, country, a state, I don't care. Just trying to get some traction on the channel. 
If you want to follow me on Facebook, I have a group called The Braveheart Experience. On TikTok, it's Mystic Butterfly and also The Braveheart Experience. Oh, I'm sorry. TikTok is Mystic Butterfly and the Red Pill Pusher. And on Instagram, it's the Red Pill Pusher with two H's and a push. You don't want to follow me nowhere because you know I'm lost too. You ain't gotta. Just stay down, y'all. It's a marathon.